Okay, welcome everybody. I know uh, midsummer meetings are tough, but um, you know, we have a few things we can do tonight. <clears throat> so we'll call the order at 6.03 or thereabouts. Uh, introductions. We've got Alex on the, uh, Alex Bernier, who is one of the, the citizen members, along with- Good evening. Myself, Hemant, Hemant, and Josh as a guest. What's your last name, Josh? Aldrich. Aldrich. A L D R I C H. Cool. My <laughs> grandfather, my father's side was named Aldrich. Oh, Aldrich. That's Aldrich. how they pronounced it. Oh, yeah, but not Aldrich. Hmm. But I don't know what how it was spelled. It might have been in the K. I don't know. Um, under miscellaneous correspondence. I uh, have been attending, or or usually virtually attending, but I actually went to the bike pedestrian uh, in-person meeting for the Connecticut Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Board um, uh, last month, June 28th. And the meeting was at the Hartford Boathouse. Anybody been, have you ever been there? No. I know exactly where it is. It's, it's on the... <laughs> Hartford side of the river, yeah, and, and on a long driveway that about halfway down, I thought I must be in the wrong place. Hmm. Uh, but it was interesting because they bring together all of the advocacy groups and the DOT and and uh, some of the other uh, players in the councils of governments and stuff that having to do with bicycle and pedestrian stuff. Anybody from Mansfield except you? No, I was the only one there. And there is no representative from Mansfield. We're represented, I guess, by the Council of Governments, because the Council, the Hartford, or the Capital Region Council of Governments has a representative and, and uh, <laughs> they attend all, all, all these. Anyway, it's interesting because there are still a fair number of grants that are coming out through, either through the Council of Governments and or the the uh, DOT or both. So um, there's a lot of money out there. Right yeah. Now. And on its price, bike pad it, projects are a big part of our business too. So. Yeah. Yeah. So that, I mean, that's encouraging because I know we're, you know, we've got a number of things that are cooking and in our adopted plan, uh, bike ped plan that we just got the council adopt last year and or earlier this year. And so some of those things that are in the project planning stage might be able to get some some funding through uh, through through the those sources. Anyway, um, the April tenth minutes were mailed out with the agenda. Uh, anybody have any additions or omissions or clarifications you'd like to make? If not, we could. Uh, I would entertain a motion to approve them. Yeah, I'm not. Second, Alex. I can second that. Okay. All right. Anybody opposed? If not, we'll say it's passed unanimously. Okay. Older business. I don't have a transit update. I was gone last week. And I didn't get a chance to talk well, Josh to Josh is actually our Mansfield representative. Oh, well, the on, on the right. WRTD. That's right. Fabulous. Well, so give us give us a transit update. We we have reported in past meetings that there were some changes that hadn't yet been approved by DOT, and that's kind of where we left it. Uh, changes to routes. Uh, yeah. So those are moving forward. I I apologize. I wasn't prepared. I don't know exactly when they're rolling them out. But they've been, you know, drafted and and we approved them in the last meeting. Okay. So I don't know when they're actually going to be uh, rolled out and implemented. They had to do some public outreach in order to notify the public that the routes are yeah. going live. Right, right. <clears throat> All right. I, so, I did get some email about, but it was really just in southern, like anything right. that just touched East Brook Mall. Like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. mostly in the southern. Most area. of it was Little Atlantic. Yeah. Well, there were some changes, as I remember, in the northern routes. Um, they were changing the frequency of 
one to be more frequent on another. I think. Yeah, I did that last yeah. email that, that just showed parking stuff. The anyway, down at Eastbrook Mall area. If cool. it's um, if it's of interest, I can dig up the uh, the schedule changes, and I can. Yeah, okay. well, I usually try to talk with Philip. Okay. And uh, he usually says, "Here's when it's going to start," and if you can find that out, then you yeah, know. yeah. I mean, Philip is definitely the horse's mouth in that yeah. case because he's the one that yeah creates all the roots and yeah. grabs them up. <clears throat> All right, so next is our complete streets planning implementation. So one of the things we've talked about is trying to um, get with the DPW, either through you or the operations, to talk about how maintenance activities could be uh, tilted towards complete streets. Uh, obviously, they all can't be, and the town's policy exempts maintenance from complete street from the complete streets policy. But you know, we we were thinking that there may be some activities, routine even though they may be, that could yeah. could be uh, that. So we haven't met yet. So we need to set up a meeting with either you or your uh, we can all operation there. stuff, yeah. and and just kind of kick it around, you know, and say. You know, when you're repaving or when you're doing guardrails or tree removal, or, you know, how can complete streets thinking get into those programs? So I guess at this point, we're still looking to set up a meeting. Do we want to do it at this meeting or like I can have everybody come to this meeting? Or we just no, I think we should do a separate. Okay. I mean, that's my feeling. Would it, would anybody else? I mean, I thought if, if you made it at your convenience of your operation people you could at least have some of them there oh no if i say you got to be here at six o'clock at night they'll come <laughs> it's just <laughs> brian lavoy he'll come i'll bring the road foreman yeah. alan barasa he's yeah. ready to come to things yeah, well, I, there, so. I mean it, 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 rather than have them have to use extra time i'd rather try to do it at a time when everybody's no, I, working but i don't know these guys are but, yeah. yeah well alex said he would help and uh, so basically, yep. All we have. And would you like me to email all of us to try and get a time set up? Well, all we have to do is find a time that works for me and Alex and your team. Yeah, I mean the road foreman and operations manager they work six thirty to two thirty, so that's that's why I'm saying if it has to be a night. Right. What's your schedule? I'm retired. What's your schedule like, uh, Alex? I'm pretty flexible. I work right on a uh, depot campus. So, and most of the time I don't have like time-based obligations. So I could step away for a meeting. So right. maybe, you know, middle of the day sometime. Yeah, we can do like a walk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that would be great. Yeah. Was, that works. Want it this month? Well, um, sure. Uh, what's this month? I'm going to be away a couple of weeks and maybe towards the end of the month. I'm right. away the 22nd, so the week after that, 29th, 30th. Yeah, some, somewhere in there. Does that I work think. for you, Alex? 29th, 30th that week? Uh, that would work, yeah. Yeah, yeah because uh, we're going to be away off and on during the middle two weeks, but the end week, uh, I think we're back. That'd be great. Okay. Um, and that takes care of item two there. So then the other thing is the complete streets team that the sustainable effort in Mansfield has asked us to either participate in or form or whatever. Um, and so the question is who, who and how we would set that up. We did get, uh, I, I mentioned uh, 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 another resident who uh, saw the notice in the bike Mansfield stuff, because I, I put that in that, and uh, she was interested in being part of the Complete Streets team. Is she on your list? Mary Paul? No, I don't okay. have any list. So oh, I thought maybe no, this was what we did at that sustainable seat. Oh, yeah, that, right, right, right. It says the composition a team that reflects the demographics of your town, including residents who experience barriers, transportation, or mobility based on economic conditions, physical ability age or geographic location of your town okay. an existing bicycle and pedestrian or other committee right. could be used and potentially expanded 
Right. Well, she, she was interested. Um, you know, I'm interested. And, um, you know, if you can have a staff person that is interested, then if, if Mary's interested, then we, we probably ought to try to get somebody from the side of the, you know, underserved populations, either handicapped or however we define that here in, in Mansfield to, to be a uh, part. And then uh, if we can get that and get that, I, what do you think? Should that be a subcommittee of this committee or should it just be its own separate entity? I think if we make it a separate entity, then we get to get committee and committee's approval and council approval. So if we make it a subcommittee. Okay. But are we allowed to invite? I'll ask the um, town manager yeah. or the town if, clerk for guidance. If you if you want to find out, because you know I, it, it's not real brain surgery. You know what I think we would do, or what I'd recommend is to get complete streets plans from other Connecticut communities, right. see what they have said, and so on, and and and. Uh, uh, Take a look at how at the work that we did before, where we looked at 16 or so road segments that might be complete streets, and uh, add in the state highways because I learned, as I've said before, I learned that if you have a complete streets plan and it does include parts of the state highways, they will actually look at it when they come in to do whatever. Their policy now is they're supposed to. Follow complete streets when yeah. they do anything. Which, yeah, great. But they're doing two thirty-two right now. I don't think they yeah. took it into consideration. They, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Well, we haven't got them. We haven't got their attention yet. That's all. All right. Well, um, so how how do we? I mean, is it up to us? How do we re do recruit and make sure that people know about it so that we're not excluding somebody who says, "Oh." If I had known about that, I would have been interested. Uh, I guess that's yeah. I, we can do. We have the bi-monthly, every other month newsletter we put in there. We can use Facebook. Yeah, the town has somebody. Somebody can repost it on Mansfield Connections because that seems to be what everybody reads more than the town. Thing. Yeah, they have they have some media outlets, so maybe we could. Uh, Margaret can help. Get some yeah, help. you know if I'm if, on the connections too, so I would. No problem doing it. I mean, assuming okay. I was approved as a member. So if you can get some guidance from the manager or committee on committees or whatever as to how we would do it, then maybe the thing to do would be to put it out, you know, as you say, through the town's media. But then we'd like to have a complete streets team and see if you get some more volunteers. Then I suppose if we get tons of people then we have to try to narrow it down and the focus focus. so i didn't say to mary I, I emailed her back and said that's great we'll let you know how how we're going to form this so there but right, i didn't say you're in for sustainable ct one of the things they want is the dates of complete street stakeholder meeting so maybe you're not on the the committee team but you come to a, a stakeholder a, meeting a, yeah have a open public meeting to Okay. Everybody. All right. So let's see. So A, we're going to get guidance. Manager. C, C. Does the town team have discretion in terms of the composition of the actual committee? Like, if you open it up to the public and you say you got an overwhelming response, like, yeah. what would be the process for for selecting committee members? I mean, well, that's where I got asked if this yeah. is a separate committee for committee and committees to interview people because yeah that might determine whether you even want to put a major like call to the public out or if you have people that are identified within the community that you already know personally that might be yeah, step step know. one is definitely find out well as, as, we as you find. say that uh kind of public involvement could be met by stakeholder meetings right rather than having them on the team yes so I think that's kind of where we, we need some advice as to how, how to proceed. But, you know, my understanding is, <laughs> I think our in general, we want everybody to, to help out if they can. And we've never really been overwhelmed by lots of no. interest. I think this committee actually 
meets it, except I'm not sure if we meet the people who experience barriers, either right. economically or right. physically. Right. From what I, I don't know everybody's personal background, but I think I understand where nobody's in those categories. Right. Yeah. Right. All right. So we'll get the advice and we'll do media. And then once we decide that, let's talk about yeah. whether we need to recruit or uh, form a team or... Does the uh, town have the means of distributing surveys to residents? Like, is that something that would be an alternative to, to get a wider, cast a wider net than Wait, seeking well, a volunteer? Yeah, I think that would maybe come out of after we create this team, because I think right now we have the team, we just need a couple more bodies. If it's this team, then there's probably somebody somewhere to see gotcha. yourself. can probably recommend somebody that they know. Hmm. And then, then we can have a meeting, put out a survey to everybody and try to get stakeholders involved. And I mean, I can even ask uh, at WRTD. They would probably yeah. have a very good idea of who might be underserved. Like, from that standpoint, like they get phone calls from people. Like, well, yeah, I mean they have dial a ride too, so I mean that that's going to have a lot of overlap. I would I would right. expect. Right. Right. And, and, you know, and that makes sense if we come up with a list of complete streets. Um. You know, if we don't have that background, we may miss something that's important. So this is for a sustainable. CT it's to get points to get us towards a, a plaque on the wall, but that's that's really not important. It's important to creating this team and actually doing something. Right, right, but right, right. We're, we're doing it because this, you know, we have to meet their composition they're asking for. Right, right. Yeah. But our our plan does ask, say, yeah. ask the town to do a complete streets plan. Yeah. So one way or the other, we have to get it done. Whether we get points for it or not. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, to get a head start on that, who knows what other towns have complete streets plans? You know? I suppose we could ask the COG, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure West Hartford does. A lot of towns will also publish it, too. Yeah. We, I can just do a Google search. I know when we, because we, a couple of years ago, we developed the policy, and then we found some town down here. Well, I know Mike pretty well. He's been uh, uh, he's been administering grants that he, that Mike Mansfield has been um, getting. So I'll I have to talk to him anyways. I'll ask him if he's got a list okay. of uh, complete streets plans, and then we can start accumulating them for for our our use. Okay. Anything else on complete streets? All right. Um, so we do have a resignation on the committee, and um, um, no work. Yeah, Christine. She moved. Yeah. And um, Mike was going to come tonight, and then he got sick. And that was one of the other issues is that he hasn't been to so many meetings. We were wondering if he, you know, was was really still interested, but apparently he is. So we have at least one open. Yes. Now the procedure for that is yes. submitting names to committee on committees. Yeah, Josh has to attend the meeting. You guys have to like him and <laughs> nominate him. <laughs> <laughs> And then, so I, well, it's probably has to be a motion or something. Okay. Well, I'd be more interested in that. Your your background is on is in pavement. Um, you're a consultant. I mean, you work. That's right. I work for a consultant, BHB. Oh, um, okay. They're yeah. out of Weathersfield. Yeah, I, I've had friends that that work there. Um, yep. And BHB has a pretty big presence in alternative transportation also right yeah absolutely yeah. yeah we're really big involved with that now I, I mean like my specialization is flexible pavement design but that's not that doesn't form the bulk of my work currently yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I my title is senior project engineer so 
functionally, I'm administering the nuts and bolts of major transportation improvement projects. Great. Um, right now, I'm principally working on uh, NHDOT projects, but there's going to be a transition probably within the next year over to CT dot within my local office. It's just how we've been structuring staffing right. at the company. But I, yeah, I mean, I'm very familiar with how uh, municipal and state level projects get funded. The, you know, the design bid build process chiefly, I don't, I have a little bit of experience with design build, but um, in, in basically every project we do, um, Bike pad complete streets is incorporated. Yes, yeah. it, it's actually right. Irregular to encounter a project where. Yeah, it's and not I, I'm aware that VHB was an early adopter when it when it came to that stuff. They've been, I mean, they've been doing this stuff for a long time. So that's great. So I would entertain a motion that we uh, favor Josh uh, Aldrich being. Uh, added to the committee if the committee on committees because you probably have to interview with them i, I would guess yeah next step so i could sell motion okay alex moves and uh him on seconds I second it. okay all those in favor aye aye so you you are a massive resident that's right yep i live actually near the depot campus where alex works yeah, that's great. That's great. Well, thank you for your interest, and I, I hope we do enough to get, to keep you interested. <laughs> well, it's not exactly a huge time commitment. You yeah. only meet like once every quarter. Right? Yeah. Well, we 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 try to to do what we can. We, you know, we are one of our biggest things was getting a bike pedestrian plan yeah. written and adopted, and and we had a lot to do with that. And so. If this complete streets takes off, there'll be more. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's, that's critical. And that would be really, time. really helpful if we if we can help facilitate that. I think it's only going to become more um, central to town planning as time goes on. Yeah, right. But it would be nice to know from Mike. I know he was going to come, but if he if he doesn't mind being replaced, he can still come to the meetings. Yeah, I. You know what I'll do. I'll when I see him, I run into him from time to time, and I'll say, you know, look. We know you're interested, but your record is very good. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of things going on. You can yeah. still come to the meetings. Yeah. Saying, but... So we'll see. I, I'll I'll see if we can go out of my way to talk to them. All right. The last thing under our older business was I just put together this little item uh, list of some of the things that the action items in the bike pedestrian master plan that, you know, we might assist with. And I, I think I'm going to send this or I'll give this to bike Mansfield too, because they, they have some interest in it, at least number one. So um, complete streets on here, number five. Okay. So that's, that's something we certainly should be involved in. Um, is there any others that you have on that you have see on the list that jump out at you as something the transportation advisory committee should adopt and be active in doing? Um, the first is gathering data and proposing a mountain bike trail use policy. Um, and that's something I'm going to talk with Bike Mansfield about tomorrow. Um, the environmental planner, Mike Stankoff, is that his name? He he is enlisting, you know, are there some people, mountain bikers or whatever that could help with that? So I'll, I'll hopefully we'll be able to do that. Another thing is working with the police to study bicycle and pedestrian safety and proposing some realistic enforcement strategies. Recall that originally in the plan, we had all these enforcement ideas and at the public hearing, forgotten who it was, somebody stood up and said, none of these are gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's not realistic. If the police are busy. It's low priority. You know, it's gonna be low priority. So the, the question would be then to propose what it is. So that what the plan actually recommended that is, which we heard at the public meetings is, 
work on speed, you know, vehicle speeds that, cause that is one of the biggest deterrents to bike and pedestrian okay. and stuff. Uh, and so that we, we can live with, but the, the point was to try to look at, you know, what's going on and maybe come up with something else that we could strategize as being important besides just speed. And then also there's the whole e-scooter thing. Um, I'm hoping I can get some people in Bike Mansfield interested in that. When you talk to people about transportation, a lot of people will come up with, well, you got to do something about the e-scooters because I almost got ran over yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Because they, especially in the center of town here where they buzz by and you never know where they're going to be on the sidewalk, in the road, whatever. Yeah, so state laws come in. Well, they're up they're, uh They do the same. As far as I know, they're the same as uh, bicycles right now. They're, 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 they're a vehicle, but they're a vehicle like a bike is a vehicle. All right, and then there's the network analysis to determine stress levels for town roads and bike routes. Um, you know, I, that's something I've seen other communities start to do that, you know, where they're rating, they're rating the stress levels. Uh, and then advising you on priorities for the future bicycle pedestrian projects. That, that's something we should probably doing on ongoing. We can always lobby for an active transportation coordinator, try to convince yeah. the town to budget for that. Um, try to increase the communication from the town about bicycle and pedestrian news activities and safety. And then maybe study and suggest bicycle parking improvements for the town. So is the question, which of these action items would be appropriate for this committee to yeah. undertake? What would be the alternative would be my question. Like, if not us, then who? Yeah. Well, Bike Mansfield could do some of this because I'm the secretary treasurer for them. And so, mm -hmm. uh, but midsummer is a tough time to enlist people in new, pro new yeah. projects. <laughs> but, um, right, if not us, who? I, I don't know. I think some, five is definitely under this committee. Some, some mm -hmm. of the stuff has been accomplished through your engineering department. Yeah. And, uh, uh, like you bet you set up your, you had a briefing before of what streets we should concentrate on and all that. And I think we're in agreement with that. We yeah. Revisit that with, this group and, and the complete streets team. So I guess, you know, as the, as it goes on, the, if we're going to get things done, it would be nice to have an active transportation coordinator, even if it yes. was part-time, because that's somebody who can take the plan and say, all right, who's going to do this? Who's going to do this? Who's that? And we don't really have that now. Although this, you know, John and his staff have been helpful uh, in doing things, but they're pretty busy, so it's hard to. We well, get a, a transportation engineer. Somebody could help with the engineering because I don't see, like you said, part-time job. So, you know, they're called maybe transportation engineer, but we got to make sure they do that active transportation coordination, not just right. get stuck in engineering projects. Right. right. I, I understand. Like, it's like. Like I said before, the money's flowing, so we got a lot of projects, and yeah, you know, it's, and everybody, yeah. every firm is getting swamped because every the state yeah. and all the cities have money, and right. yeah, there's a lot of there's there's definitely a lot of openings. Yeah. Well, a lot of a lot of cities at least have active transportation coordinators. Oh no, we should have. I'm and then and we should. So, how's the budget calendar work now? When is when do they start? December. We'll start. But talking again. Okay. Yeah. So we should we should be advising uh you and the council that you know the they did adopt this plan and, and even if they have a part-time person to do it, it would be good to get that rolling. So we, we gotta or even if it's 
contracting out to consultant, but we make sure we, we get the work out of the consultant. Yeah. I think it'd be more expensive than a part time employee, but right. you don't have to worry about benefits and all everything else. Yeah. And, you know, the, there's always the can we share a, a position with UConn and, for like example, WRTD. WRTD, which, which you know, yeah. both people are involved in both, both institutions. Um, but that takes a long time to to get. I mean, you have to have people on both sides who say, "Yeah, that's something you should do." And then it, you know, there's always gets massaged. And so, I like that idea as a concept, but I don't know that we can wait. I oh, remember you a know, few years ago they did have there was a woman I forget her name, but she came to a couple of meetings. They had like a transportation person and. Then, that went away. Somebody yeah, else they, replaced their net. She right. came here once. Yeah, they're, yeah, both, that, that's, they're both they're gone, and I don't think a position exists anymore. So yeah, they, somebody else takes over and says, "No, yeah. we don't need that." And yeah, well, that's that's the problem dealing with UConn is right. you. It's hard to hard to catch them, and you find you finally do, and then they're and gone. She came with the guy who used to be the head of like transportation. Yeah, I remember. Came her. from like Syracuse or something. Yep, or Cornell and brought it. He brought her on. She was a his... transportation planner. Yeah, for for yeah. UConn, and uh, she came to meetings, and we were working on two projects together, and then she, she left, and they didn't rehire. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, just are there um, cog resources in that regard, like any part time or ad hoc support from them for the towns? Interesting. Interesting. Yes, there's support, but they're supporting lots of different towns. Uh, it's 38 towns. So it's, oh, that's a lot. In the capital region. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so they're available for particular things. Like if you would like them to come out and do a walk audit, you know, help you do a right. walk audit in, in a certain part of town or examine a complete street or something, right. they're happy to do that. But they're not going to come out and say, okay, Mansfield, you should do this, this, and this. Gotcha. They're on a project, kind of a project by project basis. But that's a good suggestion because we are going to get things like that that come up. I'll make a note of that here. All right. So let's keep plowing through. New businesses update on current and planned transportation projects. Don? Yep, so looking, you know, what we discussed last time, not much has changed from that, but we still have been approved for five bridges. So in the next five to six years, we have four bridges and one share with Coventry. So Gurleyville, Old Turnpike, Juniper, and Atwoodville. And, you know, we're looking hard right now at Juniper and Atwoodville. So that's what they're in Gurleyville. There's a public meeting for Gurleyville on the 23rd. It's all virtual. Okay. So, and the shared one is? Depot Road Depot. and Coventry Road. It's called Coventry Road on our side, Depot on, on the Coventry right. side. Right. Okay. That's the old one-lane bridge. That, right. Uh, we're still designing Maple Road Complete Street, and that'll be the entire length of Maple Road from 275 down to the middle school, putting in a multi-use path. Right. But we're still working with and Samson on getting that final commitment to do the final design. Right. We asked for extra money for that. So we should know by September if we get the extra money. Uh, South Eagleville Road, part of the Community Challenge Grant, we're working with another part of Weston and Sampson to make that into a boulevard, basically from the Eagleville Green housing that they're building down to here. So we've been looking at elevated crosswalks, you know, boulevard to slow down, you know, kind of channelize the traffic to slow people down and put a multi-use path you know, wider than currently there from the edge of the Yukon property all the way down, put some sidewalks on this side of the road. Mm -hmm. So let's make it more pedestrian, biker friendly, and get people to realize they're entering a downtown. Right. Because right now it's so wide open, you can do seventy and not know it down there. Yeah. And 
with that, we had them look at a roundabout at Maple. We don't have any funding for a roundabout, but putting a roundabout there to welcome people in, that would also slow them down. And then we're, we did receive a million dollar grant for the, to do a multi-use path from four corners up to the Yukon sign, basically. Mm -hmm. But it's a $3 million project, but Councilor Court, Congressman Courtney uh, said we looks pretty good for us getting the rest of the funding. It all depends on the- So area. you have enough to start design, is that basically? We can touch that money. We have a match of 25 or 20%, okay. which that means the project, really what they gave us was a million of a million, 2.5. We The 2.5 is our responsibility. So we may use the 2.5, our commitment to do design. And that hold that when we get to construction. And if we get this additional money, Congressman Courtney was worried, depends how the election goes, all that money could go away. So yeah. we don't know. So it's a three million altogether project. Roughly. Right. It might be 3.1 or something when you throw in our 20%. Do you yeah. know which side they're looking at? Is it the, the west, west side? side? Yeah. Okay. Where they just the state just took down a lot of trees there. So it kind of yeah, might, might have lowered the price a little. Yeah. I'll be driven up there lately. <laughs> You know, before like you near like the, Mansfield Supply, before you get to the gardens, so between the gardens um, and CVS, they, they took a bunch of, of fun they're taking a bunch of trees down on 44 too, right? Yeah, I think they're they got a great big tree yanker. Out yeah, there. that's they use the same contractor. Huh? So yeah, they, they, I, they're like the only contractor that has that yeah. type of equipment. Yeah, I forget what it, it's very expensive see. per day. Like a, yeah, a they, they like spending money on removing. Vegetation. Yes. That's that's one of that was one of my pet peeves. Is you know they, that's how they get their rates to go up. <laughs> they they say, well, you want us to take down. That's the this is DOT. This isn't even ever. Oh, this isn't even ever source. No. Oh my goodness. Uh, wow. Well, I think DOT is getting the heat from maybe ever source that they. You know, we have this is on your right away. We, we have more. important lines going down your state roads. Yeah. You know, the neighborhood's a little different. Yeah. So the the um, multi-use path project along uh, um, was that two seventy five or no one ninety five one ninety five um, that's being held from going out to uh, you know RFQ RFP until after the election is that tip, is that sort of the plan? Well, right now we, we'll get if I get this two hundred fifty thousand to fund design, we'll go out to design. Gotcha. Okay. The extra two million to get us to full funding, yeah, is, 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 is could be dependent on the election. Yeah. Gotcha. So I, I don't think it'll go away. If it's you know, anything can happen. But yeah, okay. right, right. <laughs> but it's hard to yeah, hard we're, to plan when you don't really know. Because yeah, there's going to be if Republican wins, there's going to be Republicans counting on that money to get back home. So to cut it out, but I mean, if Democrats well, win, we're not we're not worried. Yeah, if if Courtney wins again, though, he'll still be fighting for that. Oh, yeah, and he's gonna. He's, yeah, I would. He's well. You never know. I guess so. Well, that's good. I don't even know that's good to hear. Against, if he's running against Mike France again, he's gonna win. So. Yeah. Uh, this is just of my own personal interest. What is the um, status and timeline of that uh, bridge on Hunting Lodge Road near the Quaker Meeting House? Oh, that'll be done this summer. Yeah. Or, Hot and heavy into the house, it should be done. Is that that's that is that just like a culvert? Yes. Yeah. They're they're doing they're they're constructing they're in right construction now. right now. Yeah, I didn't get. But it. there is also a project to do um, multi-use path extension. Yeah, that Which, was a transportation TA. What was it? Is that part of the construction? I mean, is that bid as part of the no, culvert? No, we're still. Because we get money from other people, it's all okay. held up by DOT review and okay. So you got TA like a task agreement? No, it's a transportation. It's a TA grant. We just oh, okay. TA program transportation. Town aid, an old town uh, aid program. No, <laughs> it'll come. We're just to, making it worse. It's, it'll come to me. But anyways, that one, which is four years old now, that's. To connect Maple to Separatists right. on the southern side, right. and then to connect Separatists to North Eagleville on the Honey Lodge Road on okay. the east side. Yeah, that's that's all which, part of which that. we had to do this culvert design 
thinking of that in the future. So yeah, they're working right. that part gotcha. out. Okay. But that's, that's for you. Okay. We did just apply for another TAP grant with Krog. There was seven uh, people, seven towns out of the 38, if I'm right, the 38 applied. Our project came in seventh. So it turned out only like two were going to get funding. Well, they said, well, the other, because we shared this money with other COGS and nobody in those COGS submitted. So it turns out six of the projects are going to get funded. So our project was because it was kind of quick and dirty, we were going to do down, we were going to connect uh, Freedom Green on Mansfield City down to the frontage road and then the frontage road part that isn't have a sidewalk connect that to right. the mall. Right. We the One gentleman I talked to from the state last week said, yeah, you still may get that even though you were seven because if some of the others get thrown out, there's right. going to be money to... Right. Well, that's good because those are all projects that are in. Uh, yeah, they, in we the took plan. it from that. Yeah. You know. Right. And what else we got? So we we're paving uh, Browns from Chatham all the way to Crane Hill with September. So that's getting reclaimed, tore up next the 17th. They're coming in to start that. Now we have paved. Soon after that, probably mm -hmm. into August. I see existing drainage like out there. Oh, we replaced drainage. a lot. Put yeah, a lot in. That's good. Yeah. Right. And then we're also going to uh, reclaim pine woods down by the new elementary school because that has no drainage. So we just had no existing drainage. And what about paving the uh, at least one side of the down Mansion Center? Uh, pathway the walking path that's i put in money for that see if i get I think there's a lot of, but end of year funds and i guess our pilot we got a higher pilot than we budgeted for so okay. suppose yeah i, I uh, gave the finance director a list of items that was yeah nice. the um there's two dirt not dirt two gravel paths on either side of uh 195 between 89 and Vassis bridge road mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> we could never get them paved because they're in the historic district. And the historic district said, no, well, I guess the person who was really against that is no longer on the historic. I think he's no longer alive. Or yeah, he or she. I think she. And uh, so they recently voted to say, okay, you could pave that. And That's that was good. a couple of years ago. And so the reason I'm interested is the uh, neighborhood ride that the kids did in the bicycle education class went from the new school down the sidewalk to the Edgewood Clark subdivision behind the library and they rode in there and then they rode back. And the one complaint we got about the program is it isn't long enough. <laughs> yeah. No, my son participated in that. Yeah, that's he great. Support, he just left fourth grade. So he's yeah, in middle school. Right, so right. And so, so um, if he paved that, is that the east side? Yes, if you save the east side, then they could come down all the way to down 89 because there's already a sidewalk there and go a little ways. They wouldn't have to go all the way down. But well, it's it paved up to Center Street now. I mean, up to the general store, the bus stop. Yeah. We paved that portion when we yeah. did 89. Yeah. So the rest, we take it down the cemetery or down to the Maharaj. Right. It, it, if you if it just went a little further that than that ride could yeah. be just a little further. That area gets a lot of pedestrian traffic too. So that's yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Right. Uh, what else? Yeah. Oh, we have Coventry Road. I don't know if you were familiar with the. I know. Oh, Josh I'm familiar. <laughs> but the you know mud season, so the council put in the budget, so we're gonna dig out, put in some. Different materials and fabric, so that'll be. You're improving the dirt road, right? It's in, in two sections where it had problems, but it's not so being it, paved. It'll remain gravel. Yeah, okay. Which is yeah. the right decision. Hopefully, it won't have the same effects during mud season, but we'll see. Yeah, lots of luck with that. I mean, it'll probably be better. It should be. Yeah, but. It's, that's like the, uh, uh, the bridges that are being uh, made. Are there any consideration for the adverse weather, which we have not experienced, but the rest of the country, you know, we are getting so much of it. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, 
They're designing for the design four thousand. Yeah, because, here, but like, <laughs> it's a matter of time that the weather probably will divert. And yeah, you yeah. see that. Yeah, right. They're yeah. they're, they're no, they're, they're, the I, I don't want to say it's five hundred year, one hundred year, but they it's, they have it. Yeah, at least they are considering that factor. You know, yeah. like like Gurleyville, they were also making it wider so we can have a bike lane, even though. Once you get off the bridge, there won't be a bike lane. Yeah, but we're thinking it won't be there. Yeah. 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 Right. Good. yeah. In a particular state, does I mean there's so much of rain that bridges are just giving away. One bridge actually before inauguration it just gave in uh, just yeah. last month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just uh, built. I mean the, the 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 only predictable thing about you know the weather going into the, the latter half of the century is that it's going to become more unpredictable. That's right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's not. The only, the only consistency is inconsistency. Yeah. Right. Right. All right. Thank you, John. Um, I don't have any active transportation updates, uh, except that we're trying to, Bike Mansfield is trying to get the cycling without age program going. We got a grant from the town to buy the bike, and uh, we've been we've got insurance now for the bike. But uh, Bill Thorne, who was sort of the project manager he had three surgeries <laughs> last month and uh so we're trying to pick up the pieces we've got i think everything we need to train the pilots that will you know run the bike uh we're working with um uh some help to get the way we would schedule people to get rides and we're working on the routes so is it like an electronically assisted? Yeah, it's an electric electronically assisted trishaw, and That's um, cool. it's going to it's headquartered now up in the, near the senior center, and that's probably where most of the rides will originate. Yeah, and we're trying to put together, you know, half a dozen routes so we know how long they are and whether they're safe, and you know, so we've got them mapped out from up there, but we got them to the corner here and now we have to go a little further along um this part and yeah, i the, just have the new paths time. when we get them they make it a lot yeah better. it'll it'll be better but it's yeah. still it, they can use the site in yeah. fact that program is supposed the the bike is supposed to be ridden the passengers are supposed to go at walking speed because the idea is to get them out into the yeah into the world not to take them to downtown yeah they're supposed to greet people and get some fresh air and you know and, a carriage ride yeah yeah so it's uh so we're working on it but as i say we we're picking up the pieces because the guy who was putting us all together was that became not ill but incapacitated so we're working on that all right other business any other business john mm -hmm. Nothing I can think of that we haven't covered. Okay. Uh, reports of members. Alex Hammond, anything to report that needs to be reported? Yeah, nothing on my end. Okay, thank you. The next meeting will be the first, uh, the second Wednesday of uh, October. October, right? Unless we have October 9th. Unless we have, you know, some other things okay. going on, Hopefully some it'll committee be stuff or whatever. Some meeting of the complete streets yeah. team. Right, right. All right. Even if you're not, if they say we don't have to go through the whole thing, you, you can come to that meeting mm -hmm. before you get approved to come to this one. Yeah, I'll plan on attending either way. Okay. Yeah, that's great. All right, then. I guess we can adjourn. It's uh, 751. 651. I could motion. You want to move it? Indeed. Okay. That's uh, moved by Alex. Alex and seconded by Hamant. And all those in favor, aye. Aye. Thanks unanimously. Thank all right. you all. Thank, Thank you, you for your time. Thanks, Alex. See you later.